And welcome back everybody once again to Scarcity, a Minecraft CTM map from the CTM community. I am TJ the Obscure here with you in Chipmunks area. And we discovered this uh, location last episode, but I did not dig out all the gravels. So I decided to come back here and see what the heck was going on here. My initial assumption was that this was part of another area and there just wasn't bedrock uh, uh, dividing the two, but <laughs> that is most certainly not the case. Um, have some more gold shovels and whatnot, and then we have Welcome to Render's fourth hideout put button on structure block and press it. So I went ahead and did so. The only thing it really seemed to do was uh, place that piece of dirt. I guess it won't do it again. Really? I, okay, I, I thought it would work again, but apparently not. Okay. Or is it supposed to go on this thing? On this, I thought this was the structure block. Am I, am I mistaken in that? Yeah, okay, well this little glowstone piece appeared, and that block with the, with the bush and whatnot. There's some additional things, there's, don't forget these. Uh, paper, uh, flint and steel, there's some records, we have Justin Bieber's greatest hits. And speed potions, jump potions, all that, all that lovely stuff. And it says that this is the fourth hideout, which means that there are actually uh, three other hideouts that we have not found. So that's interesting. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to go back to look for them, though. Um, all right, where are we going? What are we doing? I think we want to be going this way. Uh, is that right? Yes, this way. This way so that we can go into the green wool area is where we are headed next. Uh, nothing there that we need, I don't think. Alright, so one of my criticisms of the map has been that uh, you can't really do any like fast-paced, aggressive uh, uh, gameplay playstyle, which is what I'm, I'm used to and what I prefer. Uh, you kind of have to move through the map very slowly, uh, methodically, strategically, uh, kind of spawner by spawner, I think is how I would describe it. Uh, but I, I say that, and I haven't really tried. <laughs> I'm just kind of assuming that that type of play style isn't going to work because you're going to die too quickly. Because the mobs themselves are actually pretty powerful, so if you try to rush things, I have a feeling you're just going to get cornered and end up dying. But I was kind of getting bored, and I felt like the gameplay was getting kind of repetitive, so I'm deciding to go ahead... Yeah, perfect, right? On these later wolves, go ahead and try it out now when things really get dangerous. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and try to... Uh, Try, try to just run through green, I think. See how it goes. Just try to play a bit more aggressively. May not, may, maybe not run through the entire thing. Um, but just just have some fun with it, you know? You know what I'm saying? Alright, so we take a speed potion. We take a golden apple. And we're just going to focus on lighting things up first and foremost. Uh, that looked like something... Okay. Interesting. Um, just keep running. Let's go ahead and block all the things off. Pretty, pretty pleased so that we can eat another apple. Um, and we're going this way. Light up all the things. Light up all the things. Uh, an iron block has been placed. Okay, interesting. Very, very interesting indeed. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Let's get over here and take out Mr. Spawner. Um... I feel like we're in the same place that we were before. All right, we got a guy in diamond armor. Interesting. Those skellies are silent or something. I don't know what's going on with those skellies. Regardless, let's keep on going. Yeah, there's something weird going on with my sounds right now. Um, I see, I see the stuff, I see the stuff. Okay, some kind of weird potion effect there and a baby spider. Let's go ahead and break those. We will grab the golden apples. I forgot to see who made this area. Final room made with help for, with, from Caecilius. Very nice. There's the green wool. Um, let's, let's get our water bucket on the bar. I think that's what I want to do here. That way we can simply uh, jump down. I think we want to jump down. Maybe. Maybe. All right, and there we are. Green wool has been completed. Lovely. Let's go ahead and place this on the monument. Um, <laughs> and I guess when you do run through them like that, 
you kind of end up missing out on the area because they're so small that you just just run through them so fast. I did notice that because uh, spawner range is so so short, uh, the radius to activate the spawners um, that it you know it always takes. Oh gosh, I'm getting some weird frame rate lag. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, it always takes the mobs like a second or so to to actually realize that you're there and to start tra uh, targeting you. So it, it because they don't spawn until you're right by, they, it takes them a second to to kind of wake up and start attacking you. But but then by that point you're already gone. You're running out of there. So that may actually be more of a viable strategy than I than I thought. Hey, we we still got some speed left. Um, I think we want to head into the other area, right? I think so. Uh, I think that's the red wool area, correct? Actually, I, I think I want to head back into this area just really quickly. Uh, this is Palace of Blight made by Lowell's. Hey, it's Lowell's area. Very nice. Yeah, am I just... Is it is it just the custom mobs? Is that is that what's going on here? Why they're not making sounds? All right, those blazes and whatnot. I'm looking for uh, for pants. Well, there's some pants right there for us. Look at this skelly, posting up on the edge like that. That was pretty funny. Pants, pants. Okay, I, I also need one of those. Uh, we got the levitation. Yes, protection two. No. Um. All right, let's go ahead and back up and actually take these guys out along with the blaze please go away mr fire i got it um danger keep out uh area made by black shadow miner interesting uh kenku laboratory lore that iron block thing is going crazy uh, this research is working in this lab once worked to develop high-powered weaponry and automated attack drones. When they succeeded, the authorities outside realized the weaponry was uh, too powerful. In order to prevent the weaponry from making it into the hands of assassins and militant groups that teleported the lab deep underground, sealing it, sealing it away, the scientists live still driven mad by their extended isolation. If the weaponry is also still intact, it would undoubtedly be of great use, though uh, getting to it may prove a tough test of your skill. All right, I actually uh, am in need of um, some armor and whatnot. Let's go ahead and stick that guy on for now. And we'll do something like that. Um, all right, let's get in here. Take out Mr. Spawner before we have him do that. So that they start their infighting. And then let's take out the archer from a distance. I don't know what the heck was going on right there. That was weird. That was very, very strange indeed. Hey, guy. Um, where, hey. Gosh dang it, I can't, I can't, I can't attack you. Alright, we got layers. Layers of things going on. We got guys with swords and whatnot. Will you die already, lady? Um, okay, what is this? Is this just a path upwards? I don't think I want to do that, to be honest. No, place place the dang thing there, guy. All right. Um, interesting. Down we go so that they cannot target us. And we eat the apple. All right, we need to take out the spawner there so that the blaze stop. Stop going. Let's put ourselves out and take out Mr. Invisible Blaze. Nice trap. Uh, mad scientist. We're a little low on, on torches here. Um, and no blocks either. Uh, Mr. Archer, you really need to die right now. Pretty, pretty please. Alright. Take out you. And we got cameras, <laughs> cameras in the corners, <clears throat> curse of vanishing, I will take it, research notes, not going to bother reading them at the moment, 
I'm a little too busy. Still got a minute of speed left. We accidentally ate multiple things there. Uh, block off the entrance. It's interesting that they start levitating after you hit them. And you, and you, I would love a good pick, I think. Ooh, yes. And some good pants. Definitely some good pants, especially because mine had broken there. Mending and infinity, not really worth it. Uh, simply because... Um... Oh, simply because I, I, I can't use the anvils, or at least I'm deciding not to use the anvils here. Alright. Yes, I know the iron blocks have been placed. Go away. Go away. Go away, iron blocks. We do not really care for you here. Uh, you. And like a so. And up and over the ledge there. All right, lovely. Uh, don't have any speed left, but the boots I'm wearing do give me a speed bo uh, boost. I should have just ran by you, but decided not to for whatever reason. And you guys pose no threat whatsoever. Although that camera is really freaking me out here. Protection one, diamond chest plate. Do not mind if I do. Go ahead and put that guy on and some more research notes. I guess we should probably go ahead and read these. The wool box has been unlocked. That's hilarious. We have succeeded in creating a powerful and versatile exosuit chassis that fuses to the wearer's body. This provides unparalleled protection to the user. The unfortunate downside is that specialist machinery is required to remove the chassis, which has made the process of additional experimentation rather long-winded. If the wearer were to die, it may be impossible to prize the chassis from the corpse. We hope to be able to develop peripheral, peripheral weaponry to integrate into the... Uh, yes, okay, whatever. Whatever. Maybe, does that mean that I can eventually upgrade it, maybe? Uh, not entirely sure. An advanced version of the previously developed slicer variant, the uh, Vibro Cutter has a blade made of tempered glass that vibrates at a very particular frequency. This allows it to effortlessly cut flesh, bone, and most metals. And yes, it's going to, it's going to, I like that they provide a little bit of lore there to explain the, the curse of vanishing. That's interesting. Um, okay. We have down, down, down. Red Knight's going down. Such an underrated comedy film. I think it's probably some of Jim Carrey's best work. All right, uh, can we get down here maybe and take this guy out? Nope, nope, okay. Down, 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 and destroy. This is a uh, void, it looks like, that we're working with. Yes, indeed. It is the voids. Um, all right, yes. Mr. Blaze, go ahead and light those guys on fire. They clearly have some decent... Um, oh, some decent... Uh, projectile protection. Yes, yes, yes. All of that punch, and just make you levitate there, guy. Or not. Or not. Whatever. And which is nowhere to be found. Uh, more... More goodies. I like, the, I like the, the slowness arrows. I would love to do that. Let's go ahead and take some of the speed, I guess. And that way we can grab these guys. Uh, actually, because we're dealing with void, I'm going to go ahead and put the Ender Pearls on the bar. Another one of those guys, which we do not need. Let's go ahead and eat an apple. And take a U out. Ooh, that was close. That was very close. At least I'm assuming that down below there... Hey! Oh, gosh dang it. Um, 
I don't know what the heck was going on there. Okay, okay, you be gone, you be gone, you be gone. Uh, levitation elevator up. Okay, we'll use that, I suppose. And this guy just hiding in the corner. They keep, like, disappearing, too. Man, some weird, weird things are happening right now. Very, very strange things indeed. Let's go ahead and take this guy out. If we can, that is. Dispenser with nothing in it. I'm guessing that we want to try to go up this waterfall. Not entirely sure. Anything? It sounds like there's something up here. Well, there's a chest. But I think maybe we've already been here. Gosh dang it. Go away. I'm getting block lagged too. Um, okay. Place the block. Gosh dang it. Yeah, why the block lag? That's that's odd. Alright. Uh, I think that... Is that void right there? I do not know. And where's everybody at? Okay, you're taking care of... No, that's not void. It couldn't be void, right? Uh, Alright, instant damage, poison. There is a better pick for us. And better booties as well. I guess we got enough potions at the moment. Although I like my speed potions, so we're going to stick with those. I'm going to see if restarting the game would uh, would help here. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, really? One of them got a freaking potion off? 16 seconds of poison or whatever. Dang, people. I want the helmet. Give me the helmet, please. Thank you. No, thank you. Uh, weakness, weakness. Uh, let's just go ahead and use that. Because we can. I want to say that that's everything. I think. Maybe. Yes. Uh, where are you at there, guy? Oops. Uh, that's a lot of... A lot of archer dudes right there, it would seem. Okay, let's just ignore them for now. Let's not get caught up by that trap yet again. Oh gosh. Ha! Ha! That was hilarious. Well done, Mr. Archers. And you... Um... I, my, mine's better. Mine is definitely better. And protection too. We do not need that. Alright. We good? I think we're good. Perhaps. Levitation down. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. She's still alive there, huh? Alright. Um, well, I was going to spend some time exploring the rest of this area just to see what kind of loot we're dealing with. But I don't know if it's really worth it at this point, since we got all this better stuff. I thought maybe you guys would have despawned by now, but apparently not. I don't think we need the ender pearls anymore, so let's switch back to our water bucket. And we light up all the things to prevent the spawns. Um, alright, alright. Yep, been here, done that. Uh, I don't like the silent, silent skellies. I don't know why they just they freak me out. All right, I think maybe we want to go this way. So that we can get some lights down. Uh, and make sure we take out you before we kill Mr. Skeleton. Uh, all right. Piece of cake, piece of cake. Nothing too bad. And I think that we are officially done with the area. Go ahead and put myself out. 
<clears throat> I'm not sure where you guys are spawning from, but I don't really care. Uh, I do care about you, though, because I want to get this chest over here. Uh, anything worth it? Um, let's go ahead and consolidate torches here. I guess we'll take it. It does have a speed boost on it. Lots of chests in this area. There's those potions of healing. Um, let's go ahead and get over here. I need the blocks anyways. Right, not too bad. Hey, there's another chest. Uh, I got it. And let's get up here quickly. Um, that's pretty, pretty decent, especially with the armor boost. I just got too much stuff, though. I guess if we die, that'll make a decent backup weapon. Uh, let's try to get down here and grab this guy. And get ourselves some more blocks in the process. And a Smite 5 book. No, thank you. We do not need it. I really want to take out this blaze spawner. It is starting to really anger me. Before we take out all the skelly dudes. Alright, I think we're good. I think we are good. I don't know where the heck they're spawning from. But it's kind of annoying. And we already got that guy... Don't think we got this guy though. And there's those instant instant health potions and whatnot. Or instant health arrows, I should say. Alright. We good? I think we're good. My helmet's about to break. Time to head into the Red Bull area, but I'm gonna go back and drop some things off real quick. And maybe we'll see if we can do both of these areas today. Ooh, what is this? What is this? Uh, lols in case. <laughs> Another one of these things, huh? The map makers obviously like making their drugs. Um, we have Ty's special blend. It makes cars go. No, thank you. And more of Kala's dank weed. All right, I was here just to grab some, some blocks. Uh, just to make sure we have enough. I can't believe there's still mobs around. It seems like there's still mobs spawning in here. Um, that should be good enough, I think, for the next area, the Red Bull area. Let's go ahead and head on over there. And this is Templar of Hades, made by Wallcraft. All right, before we head in, let's go ahead and take some some speed, shall we? speed and I think we want the water bucket on the bar is what we want I think so we get rid of the junk all right let's get to it then Red Bull Templar of Hades uh, and that freaking message just will not go away will not go away will not go away and we lights it up and we just keeps on running keeps on okay here we got wither dudes wither dudes wither dudes um, that looks like it might be void, and there's stuff above us as well. Interesting. The wool box has been unlocked. Yeah, I can't tell. Is that void right there? No. Okay, that is not void. Whoa, I like that floor right there. You can do some mean things with that. That's for sure. Alright, uh, let's keep going. Block off entrances and whatnot and just keep on running just keep on going i think he's still following us most likely or maybe not maybe not yep he sure is all right let's just kill him then just kill him and see what our reward is protection three we will take it we will take all the things lovely 
eat the steaks and keep heading down. Uh, block off that direction. Black wool, black wool. The caution creepers are highly unstable. No, I don't think that's black wool. Um, more wither dudes. Nothing here, though, as far as I can tell. Go ahead and block that path off. I'm guessing that this is where we want to be going. Gosh, I keep thinking that there's going to be, like, holes in the ground. All right, unstable creepers. Definitely something... Okay. That's what I was wondering. That is what I was wondering. Now, is this void? Yes, that is most certainly void. Okay. Oh gosh, don't make sure make sure you can actually jump through when you jump. Um I can't tell where there's blocks and where there aren't blocks. Well, this is interesting. And my whole go fast. Oh, okay. Um Well. Is this the wool right here? No. Really? Uh, let's just go ahead and build ourselves a little wall. No way. No way. I see the spawner. Oh, I see a hole above us. This is. This is the red wool. Is it a fake red wool? Objective? No. Well, that seems odd. Because there's still, like, a lot... Oh, gosh. Careful there, guy. There's still, like, a lot of stuff over here. Let's go ahead and put ourselves out. Huh. Whatever. The, the placement there seems really, really strange, but... Maybe, maybe they thought it was too hard with the void and whatnot, so they... So they did that. We still need to find the path to the black wool. It sounds like there's a lot of stuff above us, you guys. What is up here? Um, I guess this is just part of part of red wool. Yeah, of course you poisoned me. Dang spider. Uh, well, I know that we already have the wool, but we might as well uh, try to actually enjoy the area here. I think. Perhaps. Why is nothing spawning? I do not know. I do not know. Um, it looks like it's supposed to be flaming spiders, but... I'm not seeing no flaming spiders. Getting a little low on blocks here. There's some flaming spiders. I believe. And we light it up and we take it out. And we have some forever armor. Sharpness 2. Um, yes, let's take you instead of the other guys. Uh, and we refresh the torches. Um, I should be trying to get all the levels. Just so we can actually say we got to level 100. I'm getting tired of you, so we're just going to go in this direction. We have Enderman. And we have... Oh, I can't go up. I can't go up. Alright. Go. That was close. That was very close indeed. Uh, health potion on the bar where it needs to be, and let's replace those guys. Alright, and down we go. We have apparently already been here. Give me the levels, give me the levels, block it off, block it off, block up all the things, block off all the things. And we kill the spider. Alright, uh, you guys out here are driving me absolutely insane, so let's go ahead and take you out if we can. Thank you. Uh, getting very low on the blocks. Very, very low on the blocks. Is that everything? There was another path back here, right? And we still haven't found the black wool area. 
Oh, you cheated, you. Put myself out. I thought you were dead, but you were clearly not dead. Let's go ahead and eat an apple. Um, and there's something up there. Archer dudes. Um, go ahead and get the light down to prevent the spawns. Very low on the blocks. Ooh, yes please. Definitely want that guy. And I think I like the protection three, to be honest. Let's go ahead and block that off. Um, an ender chest, huh? Okay. Interesting. And we're digging through obsidian. Digging through the obsidian. With a stick. Gosh dang. Gosh dang guy. But those those old tricks never never get new. Or <laughs> those old tricks <laughs> <laughs> I just yes yes red red wool has scrambled scrambled my brains to the point where they're not working where, where the heck is black wool at then oh gosh I forgot I forgot I, I trapped you in here okay we're, we'll leave you there although that's it looked like it went on right so maybe that's where we're actually supposed to be going um, go ahead and block it off like it's so uh, spiders that are silent Silent spiders. Uh, ooh, there's lots of lots of steak. Although we don't really desperately need it. Um, and you, and we block that off. There goes most of my blocks. I don't really need the the ender pearls or anything. I just wanted to kill that guy. Yeah, I'm not really sure where the heck we're supposed to go. Let's let's go back down this direction, I suppose. And watch out for the voids. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Black will die made by Render XR. All right, that's going to have to wait for next episode, I think. My daughter just woke up. All right, you guys, that's going to be it for me for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.